Okay, so I did not know that it stopped recording, so this video will be in two parts. So pretty much all I did while I didn't realize it was not recording was I added a wing to my liner and I lined my waterline. So now I'm going to just add my mascara and then clean up under the eyes, make sure there was no fallout. So let me put this back down. Okay. So, um, two mascara. So today I'm going to be using my Falsies Volume Express. I like this because I have really long lashes. Um, this is just an Estee Lauder, it's empty, but I just use it to get my lashes ready. So I'm going to um, put it on because I know a lot of people don't like the, the it's a very liquidy um, mascara, but I personally like it because a little goes a long way that way. Your mascara will last longer, and me, I just, you know, get up all the goopy access so it's not all over the place, because that would be bad. So, just kind of wipe this away, and then just lightly start filling it in into your lashes. And me, personally, my lashes are already very long and full, so I just slowly but surely adding this in and uh, thickening it up as we go because I really think that's how falsies lashes um, or mascara is intended to be used not just glooped in because I personally don't like glooped in lashes I know one too many people who gloop their lashes and it's just unattractive so just add your mascara to the look, make sure, you know, you're just setting it in there nice and easy, you know. I also, I put it in, in a rocking motion. As you can see, it's, I go like that when I put it in. That way, I really get to the roots because I don't tight line my, my lashes or my um, upper waterline or whatever I don't tight line because it hurts my eyes and my eyes already water as it is so um, the less product I have leaking out of my eyes the better um, so just make sure and I also make sure that my eyelashes are even all over I don't like um, clumping them all to one side like some chicks do and then just get your lower lashes a little bit of color because I like doing that. You don't have to. I just prefer doing that. I'm going to skip putting on my foundation today because I've broken out really bad and I just don't want to deal with it. So next I'm going to line my lips with Estee Lauder's Lip Defining Pencil. It's in 13 Mahogany. 13 Mahogany. And it's just a little pencil. I start with the Cupid's bow. And then the middle of my bottom lip and then just work the way out. Or work it in, excuse me. I already have Carmex on my lips, so that's why I don't have to add any moisturizer. Now I'm using Maybelline's um, lipstick. It's in Raisin Rush. I don't know if this is an old lipstick or not, but it looks like this, and it's in Raisin Rush. It's just a very mahogany, shimmery uh, lip color. And I'm just going to pop that right onto my lips and I'm going to blot it out because we don't want too much product on our lip because then it just looks trashy or at least I think so 
Um, it also has like a copper undertone. So this look goes good with like any um, any uh, can't think of the word right now. It can go with any look, especially if you're using fall looks and everything. And if you missed any of the products I used in this look, I will have a list down below in the down box. Um, so this, now you can see in the light, this is the finished look. It's uh, just a silvery, smoky, sultry look with uh, just a small lip. Um, and uh, so I'll have a list. Uh, if you like this look, let me know. Late, excuse me. Late, like, comment, and subscribe. This is a two-part video because I didn't know that I stopped recording. So, let me know, and um, I'll have a link to Hot Topics page if you like the products used in the video. And that's all. So, see you next time. Bye.